For me, I want to save your soul. <laughs> but for you, you can just come for the fun of it. There's lots of fun. There's lots of beautiful people. There's just so many beautiful people. And when I say save your soul, it's not, you know, hell, damnation or, or heaven. It's, it's heaven on earth. It's heaven within yourself. And uh, that's my goal. So I hope you join us. It's rolling. Roll. We're rolling. I'm Patty Hawes. Hello. This is Molly, my little dog. And I just want to welcome everyone to come to Karma Fest. Uh, Karma Fest is a holistic psychic yoga festival. And we have yoga and we have classes and workshops and we have um, dancers with their spinning their hoops and belly dancers. It's a lot of fun. You learn a lot, you grow a lot, and um, that's my gig, that's what I do. And when I say growth, it's, it's, um, it's tools to be happy, tools to live your life more fully, tools to understand who you are. That's my big thing these days, who you are. If you can be who you are, then you can, you can be happy and you can be free. So Karma Fest has the yoga, it has dancing. I'm trying to get more young people in. So we even have some dubstep and um, we always have drum circles. People love those. Um, we have classes on things from crystals to living in 5D dimension reality um, in Ascension. That's a hot topic these days. Again, just to be more free, just to be a co-creator just to live in this world in a better way. I was a normal person, worked at Johns Hopkins, wore a suit, made money, highly educated, and uh, anyway, everything changed. <laughs> that my schooling was in psychology, so I have a master's in developmental psych. I was getting a second master's in clinical psych. And when I discovered that five minutes of yoga could change the whole way I was breathing, the whole way I was in a room and interacting with people, I kind of like just turned away from general psychology, which was my, my education at Hopkins. Um, and actually stopped in the clinical psych program because every time I would bring up information like spirituality or, or prayer or anything in the class, I kept getting shut down, shut down. Um, later on, my the head of that program showed up at a karma fest and I didn't recognize her because I wasn't expecting her there. And then I'm like, how can you be here? You know, you constantly shot down the idea of spirituality and in um, psychology and she said that you know she was representing Hopkins and they that's not that's not what what they were about my goal is just to give this information uh, offer it out to humanity to as many people as I can and so Karma Fest is a good way to do that and I don't limit who comes in. I don't tell people they should do this certain type of yoga or that they should follow this uh, religion or doctrine or even read a certain book, except mine. I have some of my own books that I kind of promote those a little bit. But um, the path is different for everyone. And so Karma Fest allows uh, a variety of modalities, a variety of healers, and even just like dance therapy, laugh therapy. Um, and it's a time to be, uh, to celebrate our uniqueness um, and, and the beauty of living. So that's, that's Karma Fest. Well, one thing I wanted to talk about, I thought about this morning is you know, so what? Why, why be intuitive? Why be healing? Why, you know, why? Well, the idea is um, to make the world a better place for having lived in it. So how can you make a, the world a better place for being intuitive? Because you have empathy 
you have compassion, you understand people, you are those people. When you're intuiting someone else, you feel them, you understand them. And with that, with more and more of that, there would be no war and there would be no, you know, and slavery and we'd all be happy people. Mm -hmm.